Hello, my friends, and welcome back for the third and final installment on Merit Day! Merit Day! Uh, it's Wednesday, February 20th, 2019. I am the Drunk Poker and it is beer time. Why is it Merit Day? Because I went to Merit yesterday, I had six beers, I thought, why not? So we're going to finish up today with Young Coconut IPA from our friends at Merit, brewed with Spinny, the brewer at Merit, and our friend Ren from Beer Diversity, who we've talked about before. I love what Ren does. Ren and Spinney, they're wonderful human beings. Never mind the great brewer and, and wonderful person and... We all love great beer, but we're talking about making the table bigger. You know, pulling up more chairs, inviting more people. We need, craft beer can be better. That's what we always talk about. It can be better. It can it can be more diverse. I, I, I loathe to use the word because I use it wrong, but you know what I'm talking about. And Ren says it all the time. We need to make room at the, t fa the family craft beer table. We need to pull up more chairs. We need to invite more people. And we need to make people who are not the normal demographic for craft beer. I'm a middle-aged white dude. I am the demographic for everything. And it is incumbent upon us to be better, to make everyone feel welcome, because if more people drink craft beer, we have more power. And we can be better. We can make the world a better place. This is important shit going on right here. This is about being more inclusive, being better people. And that's what Ren's doing by doing these collab beers. So let's get into this. Honestly, I... I don't know. I came to this late in life. I mean, I'm in my mid-40s, and my life has changed for the better because of craft beer, because of people like Ren and Spinney who are doing good things. And I get to drink the results, and that is pretty friggin' awesome, but it also allows me to talk about things maybe that I never thought I would talk about. And, and that's cool, and I'm really, really thankful for the opportunity. So getting some grapefruit orange, a touch of coconut on there. It's hazy because there's a lot of oats in there, which is good. Do you like oats? Do you like oats? Do you like oats in your beer? Of course you do. Listen, this conversation is going to continue to happen. We are going to continue to make this our hill to stand upon. A craft beer will not be a boys club. It will not be about neck beards. I mean, I do have a neck beard. And I'm not slagging. Like, there are so many good people out there. But we need to stand up now and be heard in allies, not just... You know, voices in the void. Yes, we no, no, you can't just pay lip service anymore. You have to stand up and be counted and be there when it when it matters. So let's let's do that. But let's have a beer. A cheers to Ren and Spinney for creating what I'm sure is a delicious beer because well I'm kinda of biased. I love them both, but uh, cheers. Nice. So they use young coconuts. Can we talk about beer for a second? Because that's part of the whole conversation. Well, they use young coconuts. So it is not an overwhelming coconut flavor. What this is, is it's, it's got some dank going on. It's just dank. It's got some dankness. Um, dank, grapefruit, um, melon, a um, little bit of pineapple. But definitely there's a, there's, a, there's a touch of coconut around. And it's around the back end, which is kind of, it kind of lingers there. It is not overpowering. This is not like a coconut stout or coconut porter. Young coconuts provide like a tropical juicy note as opposed to that overwhelmingly coconut flavor, which is what Ren explained to me because I am very unaware of how things work when it comes to, to, to brewing, especially when you're talking brewing with these kind of things like with young coconuts versus mature coconuts. I have no idea. And, and she took the time to explain to me. This is, this is what you're looking for. And that is what I'm finding. This is a nice dank, like leaning New England style. It's leaning that style. Again, the coconut not overwhelming. It is bitter, um, juicy, tropical, beautiful. You know, and it gives us the opportunity to talk about things maybe that we don't talk about enough um, in the wider world. I mean, I, I, we we live in this little cocoon in craft beer sometimes, and we think everything's perfect, and then we see things happening. You know, the founders thing, the Great Lake Brewing news. Um, forefathers different breweries where things come out and things aren't all perfect okay 99 percent of craft beer drinkers are not great it's not 99 percent asshole free i wish it was it is not so it is incumbent upon all of us to step up to the plate now and like this is our this is our community we belong in this community this is our table and i am i want more chairs i want more people i want everybody to come into that tap room and feel the way i do when i walk in the tap room which is i feel welcomed i feel appreciated as as a well so a consumer as a member of the craft beer community say what you want so people make fun of me because i say that it is a community it is a very very close knit community and we want more people in it because the people i know they give a shit about the values that we sort of we've sort of glommed onto this 
I mean, it doesn't exist. It's a small business, but this is a small business that seems to give a shit. So thank you, Merritt, for giving me the opportunity. Ren and Spinney, you know I love you very much. It is an honor to get to know people who um, help educate me and help me grow as a person. So cheers, my friends. Go to Merritt. Buy some damn beer. If you see any Ren giving any talks, I'm going to leave a link down below to her website. Please go check her out. If she's talking near you, please go see her. You can thank me afterwards. But uh, yeah, definitely something you should do. Looking forward to more collabs. Cheers, my friends. I love it. I mean, I'm a coconut, you know, little, well, salt and pepper coconut.